On to Rugby Union and St Boswells have lost their appeal against their disqualification from tomorrow's Scottish Bowl final. It leaves Melrose's women's team the only Borders representation on finals day. For the rest of the weekend's rugby, here's Stuart Cameron. The Kings of the Seventh Circuit moves on to Hoyk and Berwick this weekend, with Hoyk looking to win their own tournament yet again. They've started well this year with a quarter-final and a semi-final place on the board, putting them second in the table behind Melrose. And coach Phil Leck knows that Mansfield Park brings out the best in them. It's, it's very strange. I, I mean, I've done this, what, two years? And, and, and it, it is really strange. And, and I don't know... I can't put my finger on it, and you, and you, could, you couldn't even quantify it. Um, the same players, the, exactly the same people that, that wander out at Berwick and Peebles and, and whatever. But yeah, it, it seems to be very special when they come home. So the question on everyone's lips, can Hoyk win their own tournament for a seventh consecutive time here at Mansfield Park? Confidence is sky high. Uh, we had a good week at Melrose last week, which is unusual. Usually at Melrose we're pretty disappointed, uh, but... Staying up Prem 1 is a huge boost as well and I think the, the boys' attitudes changed a little bit this year as well. I think we've got quite a nice looking draw on Sunday so hopefully if we do good on Saturday, put the boys out on Sunday as well and try and get good points on Sunday and just keep pushing towards the top of the Kings. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.